everyone, this is Mrs. Thompson. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a sailboat. Everybody needs a piece of paper that is turned to portrait, and you can use a pencil to start with this or whatever I have given you. I'm going to be using a permanent marker so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. So the first thing we need to do when we're making our sailboat is we're actually going to start by making the waves the sailboat is on top of. So this can be a wavy line, a bumpy line, or it could be a straight line, depending on what type of water um, your sailboat is sailing in. So I'm gonna go ahead and find close to the, um, the bottom of my paper, not all the way at the bottom, and I'm just gonna make a little bit of a bumpy line. Now we do live close to the beach, so if you've been to the beach, maybe you've seen some waves before. So you could try to make your waves look like those, or you could design your own. I made mine go a little bit at an angle, but again, yours could look different than mine. The next step is gonna be actually making the sides of the boat and then connecting both sides with a line to make the um, top of inside of the boat. I'm gonna start with the back of the boat and that is just a short straight line up. And then the front of the boat is a little bit longer and this one is a little bit curved. Then we're gonna actually connect those two lines we just made to make the actual boat. Now your line could be straight or it could be a little bit sloped like mine is. The next step is going to be the mast. The mast is what holds the sails on to the boat. So this is the mast. It's typically made of wood or metal. In my case, I colored mine brown, so it's like a wooden mast. And it is just a wooden pole. Um, it goes closer to the back than it does the front, but anywhere between the middle and the back would be okay. So I'm gonna make a straight line up. Not all the way up to the top. And a copycat line that comes right back down. And it could be a little bit thicker at the bottom than it is at the top. After my mast is finished, I'm going to add my back sail. This one looks just like a, um, a triangle. Mine is going to curve a little bit. Again, yours does not have to. The front sail is a little bit trickier. To start the front sail, I'm going to make a curved line, kind of like a sideways smile, or a letter D, from the top. And it's going to curve down to close to the bottom of the mast. Now this is not the sail, this is actually the negative space. As you can see here, this is the line I just made. So this is the part of the sail, um, we can actually see through the sail to what's behind the boat. And what I drew here was like a little mountain. Now to make the actual part of the sail. Maybe I'll make the bottom of the sail first. So that's a straight line that comes out. So straight line out. And then I can go back up to the top. I'm just gonna curve out and back in. If you'd like to, you could add a little bit more of a mass to the top and add a little flag. My flag is a little bumpy because it's waving in the wind. Some other things you could add is you could put a couple people in your boat. So to make a person, um, and we wouldn't really see their faces because they're super far away and also the time of day it is mine is like sunset or sunrise can't see the details of their faces so it's more of a silhouette so a silhouette just means it is um, you just don't see the details of their face or their clothes or their body to make that I'm going to start with an upside down letter U put a circle on top and then two arms and then you just color those in later when you are using a Sharpie or an oil pastel to trace everything. And you can put as many people on your boat as you want. You could make um, one of the people fishing. So let's see, I could turn this person into 
I can make them hold a fishing rod. But this is optional, you don't have to do that. As you can see, I did it a little bit differently here. So again, a person is an upside down U, circle on top, and two arms. Now maybe you wanna make the, the same number of people that are in your family. Or it could just be made up, or maybe there's no people on your boat at all. I'm gonna add a couple lines as decoration to my boat. You could also name your boat. Most boats are named after women. I'm not really sure of the details behind that, but most of the time boats are named after women. So let's see, what could I name my boat? Hmm, I think I'm gonna name it Lily, cause that's the name of one of my cats. You don't have to name your boat, you could just leave the spot blank. Now the background, this is where you can add a lot of your own details. Um, in this one, I made it like a mountain background. So uh, some place like this, what is some, um, an island you might find maybe near Hawaii or even down in the Caribbean, which is relatively close to Florida, they have um, little islands that are covered in mountains. So you can choose how you wanna do the background. If you like my background here, you can follow along. If not, you could go ahead and make your own. Now, the first step after we always finish the, the main part of the drawing is our horizon line. So we're gonna go ahead and make that horizon line and make sure you are jumping over your sails when you do this. The horizon line goes right through the middle of our paper. And this line just separates the, in this case, the water from the sky or the water from like the mountains. Um, instead of adding a horizon right line right now, you could have added like a few more sailboats in the background, but they would be smaller because they're further away. They're gonna look smaller, even though they're still, they could even be a bigger sailboat but because they're farther away, they're gonna look smaller. On top of my horizon line, I'm gonna add a few mountains. Now these mount mountains would not be super tall, pointy mountains. They're gonna be more like hills. And you'll see this one is way different than this one. The mountains I made on this page are not the same as the mountains here. You could put palm trees. Um, you could make any changes you want to your own artwork. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple clouds. I'm gonna make my clouds that are close to my horizon line a little bit smaller, cause that is actually further away. And maybe this cloud is gonna be like medium sized. No, you can't even see all of it. That's okay, it could come back out on the other side here. And the paper, um, at the top of my paper is where my biggest clouds are. Cause that is what's closest to me. And so things that are large, or things that are close to you, are gonna look larger. You could uh, make it a rainy day. It does not have to be sunny weather. You can decide if you wanna add a sun or a moon, completely up to you what other details you add. If you'd like to add some movement in your water, you can. You can show movement by adding lines. And there we go. 